Hi all, my name is Kim and I'm here to share a little bit more about um, why I became a Beachbody coach. So I joined Beachbody in June of 2014 and in so many ways um, it was perfect timing for me. Uh, I was about six months into a pretty big overhaul on my own health and fitness. Um, in January I had just decided that um, I was going to make the most of the extra time that we were being given um, because I have PCOS um, which makes it take a little bit longer for us to get pregnant and my husband and I were trying to get pregnant with our third child and um, you know it had taken us a year with our first and I remember thinking or I remember feeling during that time just so desperate and um, so much was outside of my control and I was frustrated. It took a toll on me mentally and physically. Um, it took a huge toll on our marriage. Um, it was just, it was unexpected for us and it was tough. And so um, we went into trying to grow our family from two to three um, kids and we had all of that knowledge about um, our past experiences. And so for whatever reason decided um, this time around that we were just gonna make the most of that time um, because I figured it would still be hard, it would still be frustrating, um, it would still be emotionally draining, but at least if I could look back on whatever amount of time it took um, and feel like I did something with it, um, that was worth it. So um, I was about probably three or four months into um, all of this when Julie kind of asked me, you know, if I had ever considered coaching, if it would be something that I might be interested in. And honestly, I didn't feel like I was in a place where, um, where I could be a coach. You know, my, my perception of what a coach would be really was, you know, someone who was fit and had it all together and fit, knew, you know, how to lead others. And, um, I didn't necessarily feel like that was me. I am um, a perpetual quitter and um, health and fitness is one area that I've always struggled in. Um, and in so many ways, you know, I often, um, I think because I'm kind of a perfectionist, I will, you know, do something and as I start to taste a little bit of success or feel like it's a fit or, you know, see the positive changes or feel, you know, positive changes, um, I will honestly, self-sabotage and it's because um, at least then I've got an out and so you know she approached me about it and I was thinking you know the timing is wrong like I we were trying to get pregnant and so you know I was looking at you know pretty soon having nine months of growing a person and um, I had never had a fit pregnancy this was going to be our third and you know the other two um, my first I did really well I didn't gain too much weight but that was because I had gestational diabetes and so I was really strict um, with my diet and nutrition during that time and my second um, I struggled and I gained a bunch of weight and um, and stuff and so I didn't necessarily feel like you know I was really at the time or the place to be able to take on coaching because who was I going to be able to inspire or to lead or anything like that and um, I'm really glad that Julie kept talking to me about it because she helped me see that, you know, coaching doesn't necessarily mean that you are leading others. Sure, you are, but you are doing it by example. And honestly, what we do is we walk with other people. Um, you know, I'm I'm still working on myself. You know, I, I did become a coach in June and um, in August we found out we were pregnant. and. So here I was, you know, exactly how I had expected to be, you know, a new coach, building those relationships, and then having to walk this walk while pregnant. And the cool thing is, is that, um, you know, the main reason that I signed up was for personal accountability, because like I said, I, I'm really good at self-sabotage. I'm really good at quitting. And I figured if I had this extra layer of accountability, um, just with the title of coach, um, and committing to that and being public about that, um, that maybe it would help me, you know, not quit and not give up on myself because I know, you know, I'm driven, very driven internally and I know that I have the ability to do all the things that I want to, but, um, you know, we all have doubts and that self doubt creeps in. And so I figured this was a way to fight that. Um, and so I did, I became a coach and two months later here I was pregnant. And the cool thing is, is that, 
<clears throat> my team continued to grow and um, you know, Beachbody coaching can be whatever you need it to be or what you want it to be. And for me, you know, it was just that layer of accountability and I just continued to have that throughout my pregnancy. And um, I ended up having my healthiest pregnancy um, out of the three. Um, it was my first pregnancy that I didn't have gestational diabetes, which is huge for someone with PCOS. Um, it's kind of a given that, you know, you'll have it. And I had a history of having two other pregnancies with it. So um, that was a huge shock. And I know that it was because I had made this, you know, big change in January, had stuck with it, and then was continuing to exercise. I, you know, continued to do PIO while I was pregnant. Um, and the cool thing is, is I was connecting with people not just you know, not just pregnant women. Um, I was connecting with anyone because, you know, I was sharing, um, you know, the ups and downs and I, I'm honest to a fault and, um, I will say it how it is. And so I don't necessarily, you know, make it out to be this super simple, like, oh, I just love working out and I, you know, do it every day. Um, you know, it's a struggle and eating healthy is a struggle, but, um, and all while we've got, you know, kids or a career or whatever else. Um, but I gave it a try. And so it continued to help me a ton. And during that pregnancy, we actually um, moved really quickly out of state um, with two weeks notice. Um, and, you know, coaching was able to go with me. And so I am so thankful for that. You know, it kept me sane. I had this group of people in my accountability group that just kept reminding me that, you know, even if I was stumbling, at least, you know, I was doing something and, and that, you know, even if I decided, you know, I can't exercise anymore, I am massively pregnant and I am just done that, you know, I had, I had built all these behaviors. I had this in me. I knew that I could succeed and I would do that once the baby got here. And so, um, you know, all of that is thanks to coaching because those accountability groups are the bread and butter, um, of coaching. And that's why, you know, for me, I made that decision to give it a try. You know, I wasn't in it necessarily to, you know, make big bucks or to, you know, create this business from home, but that was a draw for me because I'm a stay at home mom and, you know, the ability to contribute to our family is huge. Um, so, you know, those were all out there, but for me, the biggest thing was just that accountability and the support um, on my own journey. And so, you know, I'm just here to say that, you know, whatever objections you might have to coaching, or maybe you don't feel like, you know, you're at the right place. Maybe the timing isn't right. Maybe, you know, you're not quite yet, you know, close enough to your goal, you know, weight or body or strength or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, give it a try. You owe it to yourself. Um, and you owe it to the people out there that are going to be inspired by you. Because I can promise you, if you are, you know, doing anything to try to live even just a little bit healthier, a little bit happier, you are inspiring people. Um, and you have a message that needs to be heard. So um, I'm really glad that I took the chance, even if the timing wasn't right. Um, I, It's kept me sane. It's helped me... Um, be able to feel like a, a like a human being after having you know our third kid and you know everything so and I'm so thankful for it so hopefully this gave you a little peek at um, me and why I'm a coach and uh, maybe gives you the oomph to uh, challenge those thoughts that you have about you know why you might not be a fit for coaching and just give it a try. <laughs>